This has been annoying me for a while with Windows 11. There's a show more options button at the bottom and having to click it every time is just a bit of a pain. Well, let's go ahead and fix that. When we right click and the context menu appears, there's a show more options button at the bottom and most of the useful features are hidden under there. And having to click it every time is just a bit of a pain. Um, if we create a new folder on the desktop and we right click that folder, we've got cut, copy, rename and trash along the top. Um, but again, a lot of the menu features are hidden under this show more options. Just having to keep clicking it over and over again is so annoying. Now luckily, there is a way around it. I've created a post on our forums, which basically all you need to do is copy that command and paste it. And it will um, restore the full context menu and it will survive reboot. Now, just because it's um, bad practice, randomly copying and pasting stuff off the internet, this is quite safe. I'm going to show you how to do it manually. So if we click on um, start and then we go up to this search box and we type in command, then we do run as administrator, hit yes to that. And if we type regedit, it brings a registry editor up. So under this H key current user, if we expand that and we go down to software and then classes, then under here, we want the CLS ID for here. And under here, we can create a new key, which will disable the menu, which will make the menu um, appear in full all the time for us. So to get to that, you can see we went to uh, HK current user software classes CLS ID. And then we need to paste this name in for the key. So if we right click, we do new key, then we paste that value in. Enter. Now on the right hand side, it says default value not set. We just need to open that, make sure it's blank. Once we've done that, we need to create another key under here. And in order to do that, He's here. It says Improc Server 32. Copy. So I'll copy that. And then under here, we can do new key and give it that name. And again, up here on the right hand side, it says default value not set. And if we just double click that, click OK. And with that, we can um, either reboot, or there's a quicker way than having to actually reboot. We can do task kill, portash f, portash im, and then explorer.exe, which will kill file explorer. And then if we start that again, type in start explorer.exe, it just saves having to reboot. So now, if we click on our options, we have the full menu. And again, clicking on the desktop, we've got the full menu. Now, if you want to revert that back, so you've got the functionality, if we do exactly what we just did, and we'll run a command prompt as administrator. And then again, we want to run regedit. And this key that we had here, we can just delete everything under this key and this key itself. Do that. Yep. Close that. And then again, we do task, kill, forward slash f, forward slash im, load exe. 
you'll notice that's um build Windows Explorer. And if we do start explorer.exe, this functionality is back. We've got to show more options again. So it's annoying and I like to get rid of it. So I figured I'd share how to get rid of it. So I'll leave a post to our, the uh, post, this post, I'll leave it in the description below. So you can just head over to our website, find this link here, hit copy. And then once you open the command prompt as an administrator, you can just go ahead and paste that in. On the commands for task kill, just to kill Internet Explorer, or you can reboot. And then you can start Explorer again. And every time you click something, your start menu will expand in full. Um, that is so annoying. I don't even know why they introduced that. If that's been annoying you too, I hope this video helped you fix it. Or maybe you prefer the uh, compact menu options. If you do, please let me know in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please uh, hit that like button. Also consider subscribing. You might find some videos, some more videos that you like on the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.